Hello, I'm William Gallagher. This is 58 Keys. And this time, 58 Keys is about the business of being a writer when you're using Macs and iPhones and iPads. It is not, for once, about writing apps. It's specifically about how you get to write, how to use one tool that will, will mean you end up writing more. Right now, you probably spend more time wanting to write than you do writing. And I mean that whether you're a, a full-time writer like me or if you're, if you're having to juggle another job at the same time, there are real pressures to stop you writing. Plus, we're writers. I don't know what it is about us, but we do find creative ways to not write, don't we? Not entirely sure I can help either of us get over that. But what I can do, and especially what the app I want to show you in detail about now can do, is to make you more time. Hopefully you're going to spend it writing, but you know, up to you. The key thing here is that maybe this is more for writers who have to juggle other work, but even when uh, you're commissioned to write something, when that's all you're doing, there's something else that you want to be writing to. Those ideas come in then, and you're not great at getting to that. I think the key for all of us then is how we treat our writing. If you only write when everything else is done, you won't write. So this 58 Keys is about how to make time for everything you really need to do and how that everything must include writing. Writing is not an add-on. It's not a thing you do. It's part of you, really. It's part of me, and we need to give it time. So you'll get that. This 58 Keys is about that. It's about omnifocus, and I promise you, you're going to feel lighter. You're going to feel better when you're using this omnifocus app. I do, though, think there's quite a lot to it. So actually, for the first time, this is going to be a two-part 58 Keys devoted to one app. Starting this time with how it gets things off your head and out of your head and off your back so that you can concentrate on writing. OmniFocus is a to-do app. It's a task manager. And there are only about 11 billion of these in the world. But I, and actually, I can only think of one that isn't cheaper. I can only really think of about four, maybe five that aren't free. Doesn't matter. Let me show you how to get things out of your head. Then you can go get the free trial versions of OmniFocus. And you're going to agree with me that it's worth whatever it costs you. Hopefully. Listen, wherever I am, if a client emails me or, or if I think of a writing project I want to do, I can get it out of my head and into OmniFocus immediately. In fact, let me count the ways. Actually, let me count them because I use all of these so often uh, that they're kind of invisible to me, but I'm conscious that once you start listing them, they could seem a bit overwhelming, but they're so good. I've got to show you these. Let's number them. Remind me to show an example of using Apple Watch. Actually, it's the uh, same thing with AirPods. You do all this, thank you. Uh, that's actually an Apple thing, a Siri thing, but OmniFocus plugs into it and I can just say whatever I want, knowing it will end up in OmniFocus's inbox. Obviously, actually, I can also type into OmniFocus on my iPhone or my iPad, um, and that does it. But let's say that I've got an email on my phone and it's a job, there's a job in it and I need to, yeah, I'm walking down the street, back when we used to walk down the street, uh, and this comes in, I can do this forward an email into my in OmniFocus inbox. Uh, when you get OmniFocus, you also get a like a secret email address. Add it into your contacts as OmniFocus mail drop, as it's called, or anything you like, really, Fred. And then you can just send stuff straight to it, and you can change that address later. I use this constantly. I use it continually. But I actually, I also use it on my Mac, and it's best to, I want to show you something extra on there. This does work on iOS, but it's easier to show you on the Mac. Okay, so uh, same thing. Here's uh, uh, an email from that terrible me, and I can just forward it to my OmniFocus mail drop. Uh, off it goes. Okay, but now here's this one. Uh, here are three very, very exciting tasks. Look what happens if I do this. If I highlight that and then hit forward. Same thing, forwarding it to OmniFocus with my mail drop, but it's just forwarding that little bit. 
Now, I'm not uh, selecting and copying them, I'm just selecting them and then hitting forward, and then I'm emailing them off into my OmniFocus inbox. And let's just have a look at my OmniFocus inbox. Right, sometimes it takes uh, a few seconds to get through because you, you're relying on email to go out to it, but there you are. And notice actually um, those three that have come in, well, they kind of have rubbish titles, don't they? I need to change that to whatever it says in there. Uh, do something, there you go. And so on. That's, I just find that such an easy thing, because usually I'm asked more than one thing at a time. This way, I could just, I often do it, just forward the whole email in, figure I'll deal with it later, so it's off my head and I can get on quickly. But I can take a couple of moments more thought and send it in uh, to OmniFocus per task. And that means later I, I can tick off each task as I've done it. At some point, it takes things off my head. I don't have to think about it. It's worth a little effort at the start, but even if you don't do that, it's away from you. Um, if it weren't for this, I would be remembering all day, or at least remembering every time I went into my email, that there was this thing pressing on me. Now, I felt like I've dealt with it, really. And actually, one of the things I quite like doing is, this will be an editor, a commissioner, a publisher, my agent, it'll be somebody like that, they'll email me. I will uh, do that thing with forwarding off to OmniFocus. But when I hit reply to tell that, editor or whoever that I'm doing something, I will quite often BCC my OmniFocus mail drop address. So just for pure speed, email comes in asking me to do something, I hit reply, add BCC, OmniFocus mail drop, and tell the editor, I'm on it, off it goes. Hit send, it's out of my inbox, it's off my head, I don't have to worry about it, I can get on with what's going on, knowing that later when I need to, not only will the agent or the editors request instructions, deadlines, details, anything be in OmniFocus, but so will anything I have committed to in my reply. Just routing things through email. Fantastic in OmniFocus. Now, I obviously spend a lot of time writing on my Mac, and I might not tell an editor this, but you're a writer. You know. It is when you are deep into one writing job, and especially when you've written a difficult bit, that you get a great idea for something else that you've got to write. Here's what you can do. I'm in a script here, in a final draft, or I'm in a pages document, but anywhere on your Mac doing anything, doesn't matter. Press a couple of keys, whatever I'm doing, I can just uh, start writing in a brief note or a long note about what it is that's on my mind. Write the idea or the thought, hit return, forget about it, and trust that it is in OmniFocus for later. Last one, and it is my favorite. It's also actually quite a bit involved. Um, I will show you how it's done in another episode, 58 Keys, if you want, or actually I'll just tell you in the comments. Ask me in the comments and I'll tell you how it's done. But for the last thing, I want to show you this. In fact, I'm gonna show you this on my iPad. I most often do it on my iPhone, but um, really it's just easier to see on the iPad, so let's do that. Okay, come out of OmniFocus and into Shortcuts, and here's one here called Add Workshop. I do a lot of workshops for different companies, and I think there are three that I use most, is it three, right? Here are three that I, I, I do most often for. FEU, Federation of Entertainment Unions, here in the UK. If you're a member of uh, the National Union of Journalists, the Musicians Union, Equity of the Actors Union, or the Writers Guild, like me, then you are also a member of the FEU and you get some extensive training out of them. I mean, I deliver a lot of it, so I do like it, but I attend as many as I can. Incredibly useful and free to members. But there are certain ones I do. So um, I will be asked my availability. I'll, be, I'll confirm a date. We'll discuss any arrangements, fees and things like that. And then when it's locked, when I, I know I'm going to be doing it, I hit this shortcut on my iPhone, I tap say FEU, let's make the date something that I know isn't real, or else I'll just confuse myself later. Right now here, what is it? Uh, creative productivity, quite like doing that one. Um, at the moment I'm doing a lot on online. I added that one recently at the bottom there, that option, but let's say London, because that's probably most often when we can travel. And oh, we're done. That's it, we're back to all my shortcuts. 
Now, you know that date is, is in the calendar. Now, if I went to Christmas Day 2020, it'd be listed there, and I must remember to delete it for. But let's go into OmniFocus, and uh, well, it's gone straight to, see here, this is the FEU folder with all my different, these are, these most ones are actual workshops I'm doing, but here's the London Creativity, pro, Creative Productivity one. If I tap on there, this is a list of everything I have to do for that. I mean, let's have a look way, way, way down here. Um, deliver the workshop there, the 25th of December. Now, that's the only date I put in, isn't it? But OmniFocus has worked out, because I've told it to, that on the 11th of December is when I really need to book the hotel, book the train. This is when I need to be rewriting things. I have to deliver a certain document in advance. This is a packing list for all the stuff I used to present at different venues. And this is possibly my favorite one, invoicing. And you notice that's the 26th of December, it's the day after. Even though all I said was what the day of the event was, the whole list has been put out for me. And now when it reaches, what's the first date there? Uh, when it reaches the 11th of December, my list for the day of things I've got to do will include book hotel for creative productivity. And on the 20th, I'll be told to be told it will list me that I ought to be rewriting the presentation for it. Um, you notice, by the way, that these things are in grey, apart from that very top one there. Uh, I, it, you can actually tell this to just show you what the next thing you've got to do is, whatever it is. And now let's pretend I've done that, and it's come up with the next one on the list, and the next, and the next. So I think that's quite, that, those workshops, it's one workshop, about six, seven hours long, and I love doing them, but there's a lot before and a little bit after. Once I've set it up once, I can get OmniFocus through shortcuts and other things that I can show you in the comments. I can get it to list everything, and everything in the sequence that I've got to do it, I'll be reminded of the important ones on the days I've got to be reminded about it, and I can also hide that mass of detail and just say, all right, I need to do that bit next, done, and on we go. That's my favorite thing for OmniFocus, and I've set that up for all sorts of uh, companies and workshops that I do. Anything that I repeat a lot, I have now got on a button in shortcuts that will tell OmniFocus to please work, that, work all of that out for me. It means this, once I've been asked to do a workshop and have agreed the date, one button, pretty much, puts it all in, and again, I can forget about it over and over. That is the advantage of OmniFocus. I know it won't let me down. I know everything will be in there, and I know that I will see it when I need to. Listen, let me tell you this. When I started using OmniFocus in 2012, I've been, I've been using loads of different to-do apps, but actually, Money's, they weren't that difficult. Uh, I was still a freelance writer, I have, have been since the mid 90s, but at that point I had just one big client at the BBC. And okay, it was, I think it was three or four editors across different parts of the BBC, but just really that. Then I lost all of them in, in one go, various BBC freelance cuts. And really, I had lost the equivalent of about eight days' work a week that I had to fill in. Uh, that was a scrabble. I was juggling then very soon, after about two months. I think I, I'm, I want to say I had 20 clients or something like that, but it was all so much more complicated. I was finding them, pitching them, uh, agreeing, negotiating, writing, delivering, editing, changing, just task after task, deadline after desk, uh, deadline. But my wife, Angela, pointed out that somehow I seemed lighter. I think I was doing about five, physically five times as much work and it'd be nice if it was for five times as much pay, but it really wasn't. It was just scrabbling to get whatever you could. Yet I was lighter, I was happier, I was more creative. And I'm not kidding here, it was entirely because of OmniFocus. Okay, uh, let me be practical. If I just do every day what pops up on OmniFocus, I will be on top of everything. Not everything fits neatly into a specific date though, or, or is a, a single thing to do, that's, that's big. Uh, and very often, maybe even most often, a task that needs to be done doesn't have a particular date. It's important, but it doesn't have to be done by a certain date, so you let it slip. You don't with OmniFocus. Once you're used to putting everything in OmniFocus, 
you know where to go to see what you've got to do next and what you can do next. You won't be surprised to learn that OmniFocus has tools to help you with all of this tools I am dependent on, life support dependent on. And that's going to be what the next episode of 58 Keys is all about. Ah, with huge regret, because I could talk about this forever. Let's say that's it, 58 Keys this time. Please go out, check out OmniFocus and the trial version on omnigroup.com uh, or in the iOS app store. Okay, I cannot wait for you to use this app. It has proved so crucial to me. Um, but while you, you are going around clicking on websites or tapping on app stores, would you just take a moment as well to do a click and a tap dance on my YouTube subscribe button? It really does help. And actually, in a minute, you are going to be as much of a fan, an evangelist of OmniFocus as I am. So let's work together to get the word out as far and as wide as we can. Except to PC users, they're completely out of luck on this one, kind of. OmniFocus, really, it's yet another reason why we should be writing on Macs or iPhones or iPads. Listen, thanks for watching. You take care of yourself, eh? And I'll see you soon.